Scott now on second down nine with the snap. Hawk looks over the middle. Oh, intercepted. Bring it inside the 20. Steve Edmond. Edmond to the 10. To the 5. Steve Edmond. Touchdown, Texas. The big sophomore linebacker. Bulldozing his way into the end zone off the pick six. And the Longhorns strike first. Steve Edmond providing the 81st non-offensive touchdown since 1999, third most in that span. We heard you say earlier in the show, you want more and more of those in games like this. We saw a huge momentum changer very early in the game. Tell us how it was developed with Steve Edmond reading Bo Wallace and taking this one back for the touchdown. This, this is interesting. As our fans look at Steve Edmond, he's the linebacker on the left of the screen, and he looks like he's man-to-man -man on Mackey the tailback. So Bo Wallace comes back, and what does he see? He sees him step up like he's got him man-to-man. -man. Bo Wallace is trying to throw a slant to, the, to his left. Uh, slant is very well covered outside, uh, but right in Steve's hands. DeMarco Cobb is, is uh, trying to press the, the receiver to the outside on the slant. Uh, this is also tough for a, a, a linebacker um, to go and score. Take care of the ball, Steve. Uh, look at his teammates trying to block for him. You've got Jackson Jeffcoat. Uh, you've got Dorsey, uh, Carrington there, being careful not to block behind him. And now Steve, running like an old fullback from Dangerfield High School, takes it back for the score. Makes it very difficult on a young quarterback early. Good disguise, looks like man coverage, gets out underneath the slant, but also takes it to score. So we're really pressing, force more turnovers, but let's score with them. And, and what a great way to start this ballgame. Well, we talked a couple weeks ago with about some of the big plays, allowing those to happen. We saw, I think it was a personal foul, 15-yard penalty for what the officials thought was a late hit on the quarterback. So there was a chance that the Texas defense could have made a stop, but it ended up being a touchdown. We have another one of those situations where they have what looked like a touchdown, ruled out at the 23, third and 18. They convert the first down because of a horse collar. But once again, your defense has a chance to make a stop and make it right, and this time they do, thanks to Alex Okafor. Big-time players step up for big-time plays and big-time games, and all this happened right here. We're sitting here 17-7. to They're getting ready to make it 17-14, to so who steps up? And then you take uh, Alex Okafor. Uh, he comes on the inside rush here. He's the defensive end, number 80 at the bottom. He's playing like an All-American. Uh, they've got a little screen here, so they've got to butt him. They've got to try to keep him from getting there. Uh, and just look at him. Does a great job of sliding and slipping uh, through the blockers. Gets in. Uh, doesn't make the tackle the first time because Bo Wallace is kind of getting away. He slips out of Steve Edmonds' hands. Uh, but relentless uh, push, stand after him. Uh, does a great job of, of tackling Bo Wallace. And there's three other guys there that could have potentially got him down if Okafor did not. Very definitely. You've got to have a lot of different looks as a pass rusher here. Uh, now at the bottom of the screen again, you can see he's kind of in a sprinter stance. Last time he came inside. This time he, he does what the coaches call a bull rush. He runs right over the top of the offensive tackle. He pushes him back. It forces Bo Wallace to go up inside. Uh, there, there's a lot of pressure up inside. He's got Jackson Jeffcoat coming on his backside. Uh, and, and Alex Oak for bull rushes, pushes the quarterback back and makes the sack. And, and, and those are all punishing hits on a quarterback. By the time you get to the fourth quarter, uh, he's pretty beaten up and not as excited about standing in that pocket. Now, what does that do for an offensive tackle? If you have a guy that Manny Diaz says makes, it makes him special, with, like we saw there, one move, he can show a little bit of that agility. And the next move he comes out, very next snap, and it's a bull rush, a power move. Well, we're so lucky to have two of the best defensive ends in the country, and Alex Okafor and, and Jackson Jeffcoat. They're both so quick, but they're big, they're strong, they can run right over you. Uh, and if you get so you're sitting back on your heels and, and trying to dig in and not let them run over you, then they can give you the head fake and go outside or beat you around to, or go inside or beat you around to the outside. We're also fortunate that we've got younger guys coming on with yeah. Reggie Wilson and, and uh, Cedric Reed. Uh, they are playing a lot now because we're about to get into games where they're going to be 70 passes a game, and it's going to be tough. So uh, what about your backup guys? We always say you're one play away, but we also want 22 guys to be able to play. And now you look at 92, Reggie Wilson at the bottom of your screen. He can run right over that little back. This back was a quarterback last year, so he's never blocked. His name's Mackey, and, and we talk about that in, in our coaching all the time. So uh, Reggie, run over it. And if he's going to try to cut you, be ready to jump over him and have that athletic ability. Now, there's a lot of people coming here. Uh, you've got pressure with both tackles up inside, Steve Edmond inside. You've got uh, uh, Cedric Reed to the top. Uh, and, and all of this pressure coming after him, 
the tackles made by Reggie Wilson because the guy has to cut him. Reggie's too big. He's about 260, 270. Uh, again, athletic ability at the defensive end spot is so key, not only in, in our league, but in this game, because you've got to take the smaller backs in this league and be able to run over them to get to the quarterback or be athletic enough if they're worried about getting run over that you can jump. Well, you make plays like that, you keep doing that, and eventually you come away with one of the game balls. And that's what we have next on Rewind, because we're going to look back. We're going to see who had the best performance.